Okay, so we have a new upcoming Battlegrounds game that should be releasing somewhat soon, I have no idea. This game is called like Anime Warriors United or something like that, uh, short for AW colon U. And it's a Battlegrounds game with different sort of animes. And now if you know me, I do not like Battlegrounds games whatsoever. And you can just be like, oh you're bad, you're bad, you're bad. No, they just, they just suck so bad. However, this one is kind of giving me ABA vibes because there's multiple animes inside of it. Instead of just something like the strongest Battlegrounds where there is only one anime. Why should you be excited for this game, you may ask? Well, Dream Chaser is a part of this like development team. He has the role in the Discord server Project Manager. So you know, you know, like what well, a pretty big YouTuber uh, is, is like part of developing this game. They have responsibility with this game and stuff like that. If you get me. Okay, without further ado, let's get straight into the sneak peeks. So I believe this game is pretty, pretty early in development. Uh, so you will see some stuff that might be improved later on uh, the discord server will be linked down below if you want to go check it out for yourself You know, maybe try to get a tester or something. So this is Goku Ultra Instinct. So this is a work in progress move I'm muting that because that sounds copyrighted, but we got Goku here uh, Let's see the animations look really nice. I've seen a few of these sneaks So you got look oh, he's parving up And boom Is his hair meant to be that color? Isn't this meant to change colour? I haven't watched Dragon Ball, to be honest. I watched like four episodes of the original series. But I swear his hair changed like silver or something. Okay, well it is still work in progress, so that could all change later on anyway. Uh, next, uh, this is another Goku Ultra Instinct Awakening move. Uh, you can just see like the particles and stuff. And all the blueness. Because Ultra Instinct is very blue, from what I remember seeing. Uh, AWU developers are cooking in background. Also progress is being made. Also game will include impact frames. How can you do impact frames in a game? I know impact frames are like from anime, you know, like every single like frame. Because there's a difference between a second and a frame, I'm not going to get into it. But every single frame there's like a snippet that you can only see if you pause on that frame. So is this meant to be an impact frame? I don't know. But that's a very cool feature, I'm not going to lie. We're actually working with our dev team to cook up an epic game for y'all. It's going to be non-buggy and super dope. Stay tuned for updates on this character working on your watch at the minute. Let us go. I don't know what that is. There's probably some sort of anime that I haven't even heard of. Uh, now, th I want to draw your attention to this, this statement here. It's going to be non-buggy and super dope. All right. I'm not saying the game isn't going to be like that, but that is like biasy if I've ever heard it. All right. Super dope is like everyone's preference. I don't like Battlegrounds games. I might play this game and realize it's shit. All right. And non-buggy, you can't release a game with no bugs whatsoever, right? There's going to be some bugs at least, right? That's pretty much guaranteed. So, the side dashes. Okay, so we've got some dashing animations. Pretty cool, pretty basic. But, I mean, some games just have the same, like, forward, backwards, like, side dashing animations. <laughs> Block shoots. Uh, but, yeah. Test has seen before you. Okay, so they've got a unique back dash, which, once again, not all games do. All games, some, like, some games just have the same animation for all of them. Uh, which is pretty, pretty, pretty boring. Uh, you know, but uh, at least they're uh, trying something unique. And this is going to be a very short video. We're already at the top of the sneaks. Uh, we are currently preparing for biggest upcoming sneak peeks. Right now, I'm working on cooking Zoro's weapons. For now, we want to show you how they look like. It looks better in game. Zoro will be a character in the future. For now, check hashtag FAQ for more info. So, obviously, we've got Zoro's uh, three swords here. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty basic, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, as I said, pretty early in development. This sneak was posted like four days ago or something. No, three days ago, never mind. Uh, but it was it's pretty recent. So now, yeah, if I just go and check uh, hashtag FAQ, this has like um, a lot a lot of the like information you should know. Uh, so what is AWU? AWU stands for Anime Warriors Unite, and it is a Battlegrounds game that distinguishes itself from other games in this genre. So let's see why they think it's distinguishing themselves, why they think it's going to be unique. AWU, show for Anime Warriors Unite, is a unique gaming experience that sets itself apart by encompassing a broad range of anime themes. A bit like ABA, which is my favourite Battlegrounds game on the platform. Uh, we endeavour to breathe life into these anime worlds by offering high quality graphics and visuals. Now, ABA is good, however, like, the animations and the graphics aren't the best. So, if they can do what ABA has done, but add this on, it's already going to be better. Engaging cutscenes, a diverse array of anime abilities, a fusion of gun and sword combat, which is very interesting. Good combat in a Battlegrounds game isn't something you usually see. A sword combat, obviously, you know, any character that has a sword is going to use swords. Uh, and a plethora of other exciting features that make AWU a truly distinct and captivating gaming experience. So, these are the release characters, the characters that are going to be on release. you got Ichigo, Goku, Law, and a Yaha Watch. Yes, yeah, so obviously, you've got Ichigo there. Uh, Goku, 
uh, Law and whoever this Yahawatch guy is. I, I don't even know what that anime is from, to be honest. Now, four characters may not sound like enough. But at least it's going to be like not everyone's using the same characters. It's like when the strongest battlegrounds released, I believe that released with two characters, uh, one being locked behind a paywall. Uh, so most people were using uh, Saitama. Uh, so at least it's going to be better than that. I still think four, four characters for release is a bit like low, in my opinion. Obviously, everyone like people might want it. Uh, like think four characters is enough i personally don't i think four characters is a bit too low however uh it might be fine however if they add one of these characters behind a paywall uh i don't know let's say laws look behind uh, a robux game pass which is called early access right uh, say he's locked behind a paywall like that then there's only going to be three characters that the majority of the players are going to be using that will also be way too low i'm not gonna lie so i don't mind like games like aba have characters locked behind a paywall Games like uh, The Strongest Battlegrounds also have characters locked behind paywall. However, the difference between ABA and The Strongest Battlegrounds is ABA also has a bunch of characters that you can also play as anyway without being locked behind a paywall. The thing with The Strongest Battlegrounds is a new update comes out, a new character comes out, you can't even use that character because you have to have a game pass, right? That, it's just a cash grab. I'm not going to lie. G games like that just shouldn't exist. So I don't mind if this game has characters locked behind paywall, right? They've got to make money somehow. Just don't make it like... Uh, as soon as the update comes out, there's one character released and it's locked behind a paywall. Make at least two characters come out, one locked behind a paywall, one not. Right? So it's, it's a bit balanced for those that are broke. Uh, I'm not going to go over this. It's just how to get tester. Uh, you got to spend Robux balance. It's actually not that expensive, I'm not going to lie. And you can read this here, pause the video, or go check out if you want to. And then uh, there's also content creator uh, role, like requirements. Uh, so if you meet them, you know, you can get content creator. I don't know if it gives free tester, so that'd be nice, but it might not do. Anyway, yeah, there are all the sneaks. Uh, that's all the FAQ gone through. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for this game. I'm definitely going to look out for it. Uh, we'll, we'll see what it has to offer, I guess, when like, testing happens and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.